All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Calibrado Kid Channel. After what could only be described as the worst possible start to a day of snowboarding, I am here at Sierra Tahoe. I figured it was time for something a little bit different. This is not mountain biking. As you can see, we're covered in snow, and I don't have one of those snow bikes. What I do have is my snowboard. And I've got the will to survive. And that's exactly what we're doing out here today at Sierra Tahoe. So uh, after that absolutely terrible run, we're gonna jump right back in and uh, I am gonna give it another go. And let's hope I'm a little bit more successful. Otherwise, this is gonna be one hell of a terrible video. And it might be terrible anyways, but thanks for sticking around. <laughs> let's go, come on. And after that crash-tastic adventure of a first run, it was time to get some proper shredding in. And look, I know what you're thinking here. Is he speeding up the footage? No, no, this is real time, trust me. I'm just this good. One thing I do really enjoy about snowboarding is you can draw a lot of parallels between snowboarding and mountain biking. I mean, you go up, you go down, you get some stoke, and uh, that's what it's all about. And look, the truth is I've never been more at risk of dropping something off a chairlift than I am right now. I've got a glove hidden underneath my leg. I'm carrying my helmet out front like a dum-dum, but uh, <laughs> we're having a hell of a lot of fun. So what can you say? Let's keep doing it. I know I'm supposed to be shredding as hard as possible, but uh, let's take a moment and enjoy this view, shall we? What is it if you don't stop for a moment and enjoy the view? Sometimes you have to realize there's probably a very small percentage of the population that actually gets to enjoy this view right here. I mean, there's a lot of people in the world and how many of them ski or snowboard or live in this region or, you know, get a lift ticket or are fortunate enough to have enough to afford a lift ticket to see something like this and, uh, yeah, don't forget to stop and smell the roses or, you know, stop and uh, taste the snow, so to speak. truth is I'm about as good at snowboarding as I am at mountain biking. I've got mediocrity at every level and that's something you can come to count on from this channel. Okay now I am doing something I never would have thought I'd be doing. I'm talking to my helmet because the GoPro is mounted to the helmet. Now I've figured out a couple things. One, it's really hard to get snowboarding footage. Okay my helmet's getting heavy and here's why. Because where the hell do you mount the camera that you can get the board and everything else in frame at the same time? I mean, there's gotta be some sort of hip mount or something. This is my first time ever trying to really record snowboarding stuff. I'm giving very serious consideration to naming this video Mountains and Mustaches. Stop me from doing it, please, because no one will watch it. I mean, nobody's gonna watch it anyways, let's be honest, but you know. Back to the ski lift, back to the top, and let's do it again. Baby. And word is a big storm is coming through tonight. Somebody said two feet of snow overnight. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't actually done any research into it, but uh, the conditions were great today. As we wrap up this ride, we've got, uh, I'm probably gonna do one more run and then it's time to go. But uh, it's still, 
looking amazing out here. The winds are, they're gusty, they're gusty. But that's all right. The ride must go on. The ride must go on. There you have it, a successful day on the board. Now, you'd have to redefine your definition of successful, but I was on the board and that's what matters. Out here, snowboarding, the weather's great, California's incredible, and what can I say? It's interesting because you really can draw a lot of parallels between mountain biking and snowboarding. You go uphill, you go downhill, and uh, there's a lot of stoke involved. And that's what I had today. You know, one thing that's different is you don't actually have to pedal out here. You can you can simply take a gondola, so, I mean, that's that's that. All right, and with that, I'm gonna tell you I gotta get the hell out of here. A storm is rolling through, and uh, I am recording myself secondly with a GoPro right here for no reason whatsoever. That means I've been out here way too long, so it's time to get home and uh, hit the road. We'll see you on the next one. Do all those YouTube things, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for uh, checking it out. I appreciate you. I gotta figure out a creative way to end this video. Let's just come with me. One take, Charlie. One take. You see how that works? Absolutely stunning. And at some point within your YouTube career, you just have to uh, stop being worried about talking to the camera in front of people. They're gonna think you're stupid, they're gonna think you're crazy, and you're both of those things, but uh, don't let them know it bothers you. All right. With that in mind, I will leave you with this. If you don't have a snowboard, you're not a snowboarder. <laughs>